Yeah. It's like you still made 18 parts. <laughs> I know, but, but mm. yeah. <laughs> Here with Jennifer Cupcho, a 270 to back up your opening 66. We're just talking about it. It was kind of a grind out there. 15 pars in a row. How did you finally break through for that first birdie? <laughs> Uh, honestly, I was just not hitting it hard enough to keep it online. Um, the greens were a little bit slower this afternoon compared to yesterday morning. Um, but yeah, I just kept hitting putts. My caddy kept telling me to just keep hitting your stroke, hitting your line. Um, eventually they'll go in and it finally did. <laughs> How do you stay patient in those kind of situations? Again, that's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say I stayed very patient. I definitely got a little angry. Um, but, uh, yeah, just kept, I mean, I threw in a piece of gum that kind of tends to keep me more chill. Um, and that certainly helps when I'm in the turn. Let's talk your ball striking. I mean, 11 to 14 fairways hit matching your first round. You hit two more greens today. How key has that been for you over the course of uh, the rest of the, this season and this event? Yeah, I think my ball striking is always pretty good. Um, but specifically out on a major golf course that's kind of the name of the game to hit fairways and greens and um, that's kind of my game so I, I feel like I play better. Speaking of playing better you played uh, with Lizette Salas the first two days obviously big Solheim buddies there how much more fun are your rounds when you're playing with somebody like Lizette who's such a good friend? Way more fun. I definitely talk a lot more. Um, I mean, I'm sure the fans out here saw that I'm definitely a different person when I'm playing with a really good friend. I, It's more fun, and I can just be myself um, with someone that I know really well. Amy? The last few weeks with Nana kurtz Matson in the mix, we've talked a lot about how she's worked to manage some of her emotions on the course. She used to suck on lemon slices, but mm -hmm. then she's kind of worked through that. How do you manage when you have those moments where you do get upset or angry to kind of get back into things? Honestly, I think, um, I mean, as everybody knows, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, I kind of just get angry and I slam a club or um, hit my leg or hit my bag. And it's just like that quick thing that I think it kind of just like lets it all out instead of letting it bust her. That's kind of what I have to do. I can't really do it any other way. What do you do during these major weeks to kind of get away from golf and think about other things? Uh, watch Netflix, <laughs> uh, play video games, play Fortnite, um, pretty much do anything but golf. <laughs> Are you good about making that separation or is it hard for you to kind of turn off what happens on the golf course? Oh, for sure. I, I would say I'm pretty good all the time. I mean, even when I'm at home, I go out and practice for a couple hours and then I go do something else and I, I don't always stick around golf for sure. Why do you think that's important to like take that time away from golf? I mean, it's what we've been doing our whole life. Golf has kind of overtaken our life. So I think it's really important to um, just be able to separate your life. Like golf is not the only thing that defines you. So um, I think that's really been a big thing for me, especially since I've turned pro to um, just find something else that I enjoy doing as well. Heading into the weekend in contention at a major, what are some of the emotions you're feeling um, heading into Saturday and Sunday? I mean, it's exciting. Um, it's just exciting to be here. Um, this is our last time here. So um, it's just special to be here and um, all of the history that's been made here. Um, really just go out and play my best. Um, I can't control what anybody else is doing and um, just try and keep myself calm. We've talked about attitude. We've talked about ball striking. What are some of the positives from the first two days that you're going to really focus on and carry with you into the weekend? I think my putting has been great this week. My um, stroke and my fundamentals have really sh been showing that it's improving um, of the work that I've done in the off season. So I think really taking that, it's really important to make putts. So um, that's one of my big takeaways. Awesome. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks.